Welcome back to the FlareBar.com show, your host Ben Rose. We are now back into the mixology room. We've been doing this throughout Tales of the Cocktail 2009, uh, bartenders, global mixologists, and I have a very special old friend, Bobby G. Gleason from, you're actually, where are you living now? Uh, it mostly airplanes, but uh, you know, still have a home in Las Vegas. Old friend still call Las Vegas home. Com used yeah. to write the whole thing. Yeah, in the mix. mix. Yeah, I kind of missed that. Maybe we could, uh, you know, Throw one up once in a while, see you what happens. It. We miss it, you know. <laughs> we got to kick in it now. Right now, you're working for um, Beam Global, Beam Global yeah. and Master Mixologist putting together all the drinks. And yeah, everything. we, uh, you know, I'm actually in the training department, so I get I actually have the honor and privilege of traveling around the world and talking with bartenders and you know, doing bartender trainings and show them, you know, what we think are proper techniques and okay. you know different ways of making cocktails and just making things happen for everyone. Well this is always my favorite part of the show because we get to go into our mixology lab and we get to have professional bartenders show us how to make a drink. What are you going to make for us today? Well, I'm going to make an exclusive apricot sour. No. Well you know what we do you know, when we're developing recipes it's really very simple. What I like to do is look at your base spirit okay. and look at the flavors that are in there you know with the cognacs as they're aging and they bring out these different flavors you know you know, dried fruit is one of those flavors, an apricot. So this is your thinking just, process when you're putting together a drink. You, this is all you take into consideration. Yeah, right. Yeah, you got to consider all that, and and it's really very simple. What we're going to make today is a basic sour okay. using the exclusive. You like my professional ice bucket? I love that. You well, know, you're the best for the FlareBar.com show. Yeah, we should have that logoed. We, we might be able to sell a few before we leave. We should talk to people at Being Global. <laughs> So we're going to start, you know, every sour uh, has a component. Now, of, while you're doing this, i got to tell you, I'm really impressed with all the, everything's fresh. Right. Right into the glasses, it's fresh, you're not using any puree, nothing like that. No. You guys are squeezing everything correct. It's, you know, fresh is always best, you know, okay. it's, uh, it's a great way to go. So basically what we're going to do here is we are going to get some simple syrup off of, you know, out of our mixology lab over there. Get that. And what we're going to do is um, we're making... A fresh sour, okay. a fresh lemon sour. So we have our fresh lemon juice, and we want about just a little bit less of that same amount of our simple syrup, which is just sugar and water. So the juice, and then you're putting in just a, just a little less. Right. Okay. When you're making it at home, you know, of course, you can take uh, just sugar and water. Mm -hmm. This is why it's called simple syrup because it's, right? it's it's really it's simple. Funny how many people don't even know that in right. business, but you don't know it's sugar and water. And so. Uh, the sour components, you have a, a sour component, which is our lemon juice, our sweet, uh, sweet component, which is our simple syrup. And then we're going to bring another flavoring agent in with some apricot jam. Now, that's just regular jam you'll find in the store. Yeah, you'll find them anywhere in the store. You want to look for a real high content of fruit. Okay. So it's, you know, marmalades are great. And, you know, this one here is a beautiful Swiss preserve. And I guess the Swiss, they do fun things. They do good stuff over there. I've seen some they fun. They don't know how to flip bottles, but they do good marmalade. <laughs> so we want a, just a uh, bar spoon, so and we put it in there. Spray it on up in there yeah, it does. I give it a little stir, get it, get it going, and then we're going to mix that more when, during the shake. But, you know, kind of a fun thing that we do if we want to get, you know, really fancy and, and technical and, and, you know, justify our master mixologist title. <laughs> we, see, we are doing a flash infusion with our apricot gem, you know. <laughs> So, we have all of that, and now our... This is, the fun, this is my oh, favorite part. Let me, let oh, me get just it. look at that. Mm, yeah. Now, can you, can you pick up the apricot a little bit in there? You get the dried fruit, maybe a lot of orange peel. I do now that you bring it Some up. Some of that, yeah. 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 Actually, smell it. And, you know, the now, United States... Mine, so that's mine, you can put in a little more... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, you know, the U.S. Yeah. government says a standard cocktail is one and a half ounce of 80 proof spirit. Okay. And that is our drink smart message, and hopefully someone back at corporate headquarters will see that, and I'll get a at a boy. So, that a boy. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> Sometimes we got to do it ourselves. You know? <laughs> we enjoy that. Thank you. So we have our cocktail glasses chilling over here, okay. and we're gonna pour that into our shaker. And you're gonna show us the give it a nice seal. You know, we're shaking. You know, every bartender has his own shake. It's his signature, you know. So you want to find something, find a way that makes you comfortable. And, but, shake it any way you want. Make sure everything hits both ends. And I only have two rules. Shake it hard, shake it with a smile. Whoa.
break our seal. Now, in the meantime, while you're getting ready for this, people want to find more out about Cabossier. Which website do they go to on the World Wide Web? They could go right to themeglobal.com. Well, you, and there's also a great website with uh, Cabossier. Go right onto their website. Um, you can join. There's a club that they have on there. You sign up and you get nice information for just on the product and special events that are happening, things like that. Now we've got two different ways of garnishing this one. Okay. Uh, one of them is, you know, Philip made these beautiful apricot lollipops. Wow. You know? So what, it, you know, most people are going to want to grab it and put it in this way, mm -hmm. but we want that to be visible, so we're just going to drop it in that way. Okay. So we can still see that. And meanwhile, the alcohol in there too is soaking right into the apricot. Yeah. You know, yeah. rehydrating it. And then we're going to take uh, the potato peeler and get a start here and then get a nice big chunk of lemon peel. And the easiest way to do this is with a potato peeler for anybody. It is. You know, um, I like using a knife as well. And uh, so what we'll do is we'll take our lighter. We've got a nice piece of lemon peel. And we like to remind you, obviously, everybody's 21 watching this, but don't play with fire at home unless you're with a trained professional. Correct. You know, you never want to take a chance on something bad happening. You know, you don't we want this to blow up. <laughs> you know, I've lost my hair already. I don't want to lose anything else. So <laughs> we just we'll light that flame and right over the top of the cocktail. And what we did is we took all those oils, caramelized those, and laid those right on top, and then follow that with your peel. And there you have an exclusive apricot sour. Well, I'm gonna take that right out of your hands. We have got to try this. We, we should toast. Absolutely. We should here's, toast, man. here's to you. Here's to and you. Coming back to flarebar.com maybe within the mix or something. I hope so. We'll see I really there. do. We're going to drink our drinks more from the mixology room after this. Big thanks to Bobby G. Bobby, mm. I got to try this for him. That is amazing. I'm just, we'll be back. I, I'm going to finish drinking. <laughs>